Hi, my name is Cecilia Fox, and that is my another episode of Art Sandwich, in which I'm eating dinner with you, and I'm gonna like reflect on my artistic practice. Uh, I still can't cook, so today I'm going to eat like uh, the pig candies for dinner. And um, so, mm. first of all, in general, how was my like artistic week? Um, yeah, I think it had a lot of ups and downs and it was also, there was some nice moments and I think I made some progress with some stuff, but I also felt really like all over the place. I think one of the like uh, good things or like funny things that happened was that I was visiting this graduation show and then I was like, I had this really spontaneous idea to make up my own like art award and then I gave like out my art award like I made like this like real art award and I wrote like a speech for it because I was like really inspired by that that I feel like always when people give out like art awards it is like a political statement that it's just about their own like values and stuff so I wanted to kind of make fun of it and it was like yeah it was I think it was a bit funny and I was really happy with this uh, thing. Um, I was, uh, yeah, also like I had some like nice conversations there and um, actually like this week's highlight is also like related to graduation show. So that's why I think I'm going to share it uh, right away. Um, so when I was visiting graduation show, like I really realized that like graduation show is not even like a good place for art because it's just like so intense, so overwhelming. And like then, and the highlight of this um, week is like the, the writer of the master's catalog, who I also had like a little talk with and who explained me like her like process of making this catalog. Like her name is, Elisabetta Kukora. Kuk oh my god, I hope I don't like butcher her name. Um, Kukara, maybe. <coughs> um, so her name is like El Elisabetta Kukara. I hope I don't like butcher her name. And um, I think like after like going home and like really reading this catalog through, like it really gave me like much deeper understanding about all the works that I saw because in this like exhibition it's just so like overwhelming and I think she also just made like such a beautiful um, work with it because in the beginning she uses like a metaphor of weaving and the textiles for like in an intro and then she developed this system of categorizing like all the works in like eight categories and she calls them like a knots of interest. So it's also a really nice metaphor. Then she also explained how she uh, visited all the studios and then she wrote like a really, like a beautiful like artist statements and the artist text, artist statements for each of the artists, which is really special. And then she also was uh, writing like a poetic response for each of the artwork and I think like also these like poems like these poetic responses they really like they are like so precise and they like um uh, like they really like cut like with the knife and i think it was really like yeah i feel like that these like poems could be like even published as a book itself because it really gave through the feeling of this artwork but I feel like they could also like uh, exist on their own. So actually I wanted to like uh, read uh, two of the poems that really resonated with me like in a personal level. <clears throat> so here's the first one. What is intimacy? You can be naked and still be surrounded by invisible walls, closed off, numbed, inaccessible. Nudity worn as an armor that protects you. 
intimacy you understand is elsewhere, taking the risk of being hurt, staying with shame, sitting with sorrow, acknowledge, acknowledging rejection and its consequences as acceptable outcomes, and still deciding to move and embrace. In your voice and in your touch, where care comes from seeing the wounds, intimacy flutters among scented flowers. Yeah, and the second one was shame drives in a razor from sight, sometimes through concealment in the darkness of closets, sometimes through overexposure, eyes blinded by sudden light. Censure and reproach are two faces of the same coin. Nobody wants to become a space goat, to be sacrificed for others' tranquility, to be excluded for others to belong, to be deplorable for others' worthiness. Shame, justified violence, a targeting. Scars are its traces. You can follow their stories and find out whether the pain was needed. You can follow their lines and find out an arabesque of meanings. Yeah, I think it is really such a beautiful like book and it was such a beautiful writing and it was really special for me to also like meet her in person and like and hear more about the process of her writing it and I really think it's like a very very special um, thing and also I think like so why these like uh, poems were like um, resonating with me like I think this week I also was kind of like confronted with my own like uh, mental health problems and I think it is something that I really oftentimes like wanna like um, like place it under the rug or like just wanna like I don't wanna like acknowledge it or like I really like when I don't feel good then I just like disappear for days or that I just isolate and like ignore all the text messages and stuff and for me like it is just such a big part of it and that's why like I also kind of wanna bring more like transparency on it because I really sometimes have like such a big anxiety that I'm just like scared to even like buy myself a drink and stuff and also um so also like on Friday I was actually filming like a new episode of like artist enough and I was just like I just felt so overwhelmed like I think I have been like really like stressful situation for eight days and then like this Friday was really like a breaking point and I really felt like okay I can't even like have like a coherent conversation with like with Finnis who I was interviewing and it was just like so awful and I just felt so like I don't know like after this interview I really was just like showering in my shame and like I was just like so embarrassed by it and I think it was just really hard thing for me to like accept like that 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 things happen and I feel like he was really friendly and and he he was not like mad at me but it was really like just really deep disappointment in myself and I think at that moment also like the topic that I often talk with people is also like the art and suffering and uh, mm, And it was also so weird, like realization that at that moment I realized that that art kind of like gives like a meaning for suffering, or like that art makes like a suffering somehow like productive. Because like when I was like in this like really miserable moment, I also was really like oh thinking solutions and like thinking like oh what could I do better and how I could do things differently. And like I really realized that yeah in this interview series I also like that sometimes you just like you hold on like too much on your like initial idea that you really try to like force it but with art you really sometimes have to just trust it. I think like with art there is like this 
really distinct like uh, like a tension between like a force and trust and you really have to like kind of like trust it and then um, yeah and because with this like interview I realized that like yeah I made the rules so I can also break the rules so I think like if I would have like upcoming interviews I would like um, approach them like maybe more in like personal level and stuff and like let go of like my initial initial like um, framework that I made it because I feel like that sometimes like these interviews become like really insincere because I feel like because at first my idea was really to be like in this talk show host and take like a distance from my like a subject and even though like people that I interviewed like were people that I knew I kind of wanted to pretend that I don't know them but I think like in upcoming like episodes I really want to kind of break this like distance and like become more like personal so I'm really and also like just share like my personal interest on them and I, I hope I will make some nice uh, steps with it um, and um, so mantra for this week is I trust my art and I will find pleasure in rejection I trust my art and I will find the pleasure in rejection I trust my art and I will find pleasure in rejection. So just repeat after me and this is how you become an artist. Um, yeah, I think it's really fitting because I think it's so important as an artist to just stay in your own path and like kind of accept rejections and that you can't be liked by everybody. And uh, yeah, I'm really kind of experimenting with this new series and I will see like if I'm maybe gonna do it every week or twice a month or once a month but yeah just let me know if you like this kind of uh, art discussion series and to hear about the updates and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you next time and uh, thank you for watching <laughs>